Hi, I'm David from OM System and welcome to this quick tutorial on the OM5's Starry Sky autofocusing feature. So today we're going to dive into the Starry Sky autofocusing function, which is a very powerful tool designed to enhance your nighttime photography. Now, whilst it's a very powerful feature, it is super simple and easy to set up and use. So why don't we take a look at that in the menu right now? On your OM5, press the menu key and navigate down the left hand side to the gear icon. Press the right arrow key and enter the alphabet menu, scrolling down to A4. Now press the right arrow key again and your first option here is the starry sky autofocusing setting. Press OK and you'll be presented with just two options, either speed or accuracy. We'll choose speed primarily if we're hand holding our camera whilst taking shots of the night sky or accuracy, which can take a little while longer to process, but it's likely that we'd be using a tripod. Now these settings simply apply those options to the starry sky autofocusing function. You must also switch it on either from your AF option button, if you've programmed one or from the super control panel on the back of the camera by pressing the okay button. So let's go ahead and do that now. Press the OK button to bring up this super control panel. Navigate across to the autofocusing mode and press OK. Then at the bottom of the screen, you can navigate all the way to the right to select the starry sky A off option and press OK. Now that you've chosen your options for Starry Sky Autofocus and you've activated it from the Super Control Panel, there are a couple of other things that you just need to know about before you get going and using it. Starry Sky AF is designed to be used at night in the dark. So if you're trying it out in a bright environment like this, the chances are the camera won't really do much. It perhaps might not even start to try to focus because it detects that it's too bright. The other thing is that you'll be limited to only a few selections of AF target areas. Let's have a look at those now. You can summon the AF target mode by pressing either up, down, left or right on the arrow keys around your OK button and that'll bring up this screen. Once that's visible, you can use either of the two dials on your camera to cycle through the available AF target mode options. You'll see here that we are limited now to a single square, a medium square and a large square but we don't have access to all AF points and that's perfectly normal for Starry Sky AF. And the final thing that you'll need to know is that the Starry Sky AF function will not actuate from the front shutter button by default. It will actuate from your rear AEL button on the back of the camera. Now the reason for this is so that you can use that back button to focus the camera and then you can use the front shutter release to take the shot without worrying about the camera trying to refocus again in case there is a time difference between when you focused and when you wanted to create the exposure. Now remember the Starry Sky AF function is designed to work on very tiny points of light very, very far away. So if you find that the camera is not focusing on things that are nearer towards you or a little bit more well lit, then that's perfectly normal. All there is left to do now is for you to find a beautiful landscape with some wonderful clear skies and start practicing your Starry Sky AF photography. Don't forget to look at the rest of our videos which will show you lots more in-depth settings for this kind of photography. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for notifications of when we're making other videos and going live. And I'll see you on another video very, very soon. Thank you and bye-bye.